welcome to today's class today i just want to prepare you to assist you know over 50 likely questions you need to prepare with for the forthcoming wire biology practicals please i'm not saying these questions are the questions that will come out no i'm saying these are the questions you need these are the things you need to know you have your own part to do to sit down and understand every bit of this video if you want to pass the biology practicals with ease the first thing you need to know about spaceman a being weevil is identify the spaceman being weevil see the botanical name and the correct spelling then state two observable features of this specimen a small hard-bodied incense brownish with black spots then what type of metamorphosis is exhibited by this specimen being wavy is complete metamorphosis Question 4. State two effects of specimen A on stored seed. Remember, it will reduce seed viability and cause economic loss. You are expected to go and learn the diagram. Learn how to draw and label the bean wavel. Diagram to be drawn by students with labels. Put the head, the thorax, the abdomen, the antenna, legs, and wings. C. State two control methods of specimen A. How do we control this bean wavel? Use of insecticides, proper drying, and storage of seeds. Number seven. What is the economic importance of bean wavel? It is a pest that damages stored legumes. Describe the mouth parts. Is biting and chewing type adapted for feeding on seeds. Now let's go to specimen B. Specimen B is being seed with holes. You are to identify the specimen as infected being seed because it has holes. What caused the holes in the specimen B is lava of the bean wavel. That's lava of specimen A. Mention two differences between healthy bean seed and specimen B. Remember, healthy seeds are whole. Specimen B has holes. Another difference, healthy seeds germinate better the specimen B has reduced viability. Then the next question, what type of relationship is, exists between specimen A and B? Is parasitism. Suggest so one way of preventing the damage seen in specimen B. How do you prevent the damage? So sun drying and storing beans in airtight containers. Please study this and have good knowledge of what is expected of you before writing this exam. What biological process leads to the holes in specimen B? Feeding by lava during metamorphosis. Please, before we go to specimen C, give this video a like. Share this video to someone writing YEC 2025 this year. Please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment i've gone to do this research so bring up all this to ensure that nothing stops you from scoring a please appreciate by giving this video a like and drop a comment thank you then for specimen c is a whole leaf water leaf plant you are to identify it see the botanical name in brackets please remember that for biology Spelling is very, very important. State the class to which specimen C belong is diacotyledon. Please, what I leave is diacot 
lay down. Draw and label specimen C. Student to draw plants showing the roots, the stem, and the leaf. Please, you have to draw. You must draw. This is biology. You must draw. List three uses of specimen C. Used as vegetable, medicinal uses, soil cover to reduce erosion. 19. Describe the type of venting. Venation in specimen C is reticulate venation. Mention two adaptive features of specimen C to its habitat. Fleshy leaves for water storage, shallow roots to absorb surface water. Name two vegetative plants seen in specimen C, stem and leaves. Now let's look at specimen D. You have to identify it. Draw and label. These are the things you need to. Remember the exam is on Thursday 15th. You have all this time to go and learn how to draw all these things and learn these questions to prepare yourself. You are to draw. List three parts of specimen D. You list the three parts. Now, now state one function of each part. The rachis provide support. The veni adds light. Then the quill attached to skin. Mention two differences between specimen D and hair in mama. You know that specimen D is feather of a domestic fowl. The feather are branched, hairs are unbranched, feathers add in light, hairs add in insulation. Hairs add in insulation. State one function of specimen D in the bed for flight on insulation. Now, the next specimen E is longitudinal section of pineapple fruit. You are to identify it. See the botanical name in bracket. Please don't joke with your A. Read, read, and read. Some people, even after this guide, they can't sit down and watch this video to the end to read and understand what they are expected to do. This is just a serious guide that if you can pay attention and take your time and read it, you're sure of coming out smiling on Thursday after your exam. What type of fruit is specimen E? It's multiple fruits. Name two reproductive structures found in specimen E. Ovary, seeds, though often absent in cultivated type. Now, list three economic importance of specimen A. It is used for juice, eating fresh, raw material in wine production. State the mode of propagation of the pineapple plant. Vegetative propagation using suckers on crown. Now, draw and label. You need to go and learn it. And there are core parts that you need to label. They call the pulp and the skin. The next specimen is transverse section of orange fruit. Identify it. List two differences between specimen E and F. That's the difference between pineapple fruit and orange fruit. And remember that pineapple fruit is longitudinal section, orange fruit is transverse section. So you now mention the differences. E is a multiple fruit, F is a simple fruit. Pineapple is a multiple fruit, E, orange, is a simple fruit. E is not segmented. Why F orange is segmented? When you see the cuts, you will see that orange E is segmented. What type of placentation is seen in F? That's the orange fruit. It's azeal placentation. State two economic uses of specimen F. Juice extraction sources of vitamin c these are the economic uses draw and label please you draw remember to put the following important parts the pericarp the pulp the seed and the segment name the edible parts of specimen f that's the juice sac or mesocarp 
the juice part or the mesoca. Let's look at specimen E. That's raw egg of the mystic fowl we share. You identify it. Name two structural parts visible in specimen G, the shell and the abdomen. State one function of the egg shell. The egg shell is protection of internal contact. Mention two similarities between specimen G and a seed. Both have protective covering, both contain nutrients for embryo. What type of reproduction does specimen G support? Remember, the raw egg is sexual reproduction, oviparous reproduction. List two nutrients found in specimen G. Protein, the abdomen, lipids, the yolk. Now, the next one is specimen J. There is no I, rather J. Longitudinal section of boiled egg. Boiled egg cut longitudinally. Draw and label it. You are to go and learn the diagram, please. Don't joke with your A. Mention two observable differences between specimen G and H. G is liquid inside. J is solid. G is raw. J is cooked. Which part of specimen J develops into an embryo in fertilized egg? Yolk, specifically the germinal disc on the yolk. State two changes that occur in the structure of the egg when it is boiled. Coagulation of proteins, hardening of albumin and yolk. Please give this video a like and share it to help someone to have at least an idea of nature. This is all from past questions, from likely questions that you should expect when some such specimens are required. Now, the, la the last one, H, is test tube with water. Identify it is test tube containing water. State one use of the of the specimen in biology practicals is for dissolving reagents or as a solvent in food test. 